Brothers and sisters, what we just witnessed with the insanely popular Cat Williams interview on Shannon Sharp's Club Shay Shay podcast is the beauty of two brothers supporting each other on their own independent platforms. As of right now, in just over like 24, 36 hours or so, the show has exploded to over 17 million views. It's arguably already the best show of 2024. And the secrets Cat Williams spilled will likely be talked about through the summer. Mark my word. Why is that? For instance, he brilliantly exposed what I'm calling the Bulevinati, <laughs> a small circle of black gatekeepers who keep rising black stars in their place in the entertainment industry. He discussed what Taraji P. Henson was complaining about with the movie Color Purple before the gatekeepers quickly shut her down. Remember that? What makes Cat the 50 Cent of comedy, or actually should I say 50 Cent is a Cat Williams of hip-hop, is that he held no punches regarding Steve Harvey, Kevin Hart, Ricky Smiley, Cedric the Entertainer, and so many more. What makes such boldness resonate among the public so much is that given what's been exposed with P. Diddy, Harvey Weinstein, Jeffrey Epstone, I gotta be careful, you know, the Epstone scandal, read between the lines, they're releasing the names right now, and now the T.I. and Tiny mess, people are ready to cancel Hollywood and mainstream media for all those doggone mean girl style corruption and bullying tactics of popular stars who don't play ball their way. Remember Monique, Monique said something like that before with their little spoiled brat asses. <laughs> this is why Cat Williams and 50 Cent are popular right now. But I really want to call attention to the marketing genius of Cat Williams. During the interview, when Shannon Sharp was half joking about him possibly losing the show because of the secrets Cat Williams spilled, Cat flat out told him, oh no, my brother, your show is about to be huge, bigger than ever, to the point where even Oprah will want to swing by. Think about that. Remember, he predicted this before the show blew up. And judging by the blockbuster numbers, Cat Williams is more than right. He knows promo and marketing very very well. Watch towards the second half of the interview where he explains why he's the greatest comedian beating the brakes off all the others because he studies his competition to the point he knows how many laughs per second or per set or per hour they generate. He knows the comedian's effectiveness better than they do. That's how he knows he's funnier than them. This is part of the SWOT analysis I keep talking about in our videos the necessity of, of analyzing the strengths and weaknesses of your competition so that you can seize the opportunity to surpass them, thereby making yourself their biggest threat. Again, my hat's off to these successful brothers, Shannon and Kat. They have paved the way to show us how we should help each other come up without tearing each other down. I'm personally helping brothers and sisters myself here in the area and ask you all to do the same in your networks. Let's make 2024 a Cat Williams Club Shay Shay kind of year. 